Stoicism is an ancient philosophy that teaches us how to live a virtuous and happy life, regardless of our external circumstances. One of the key tenets of Stoicism is that we should focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot control. This is especially important when dealing with difficult people and situations. We all have to deal with difficult people and situations. Time, it could be a co-worker who is always rude and disrespectful, a family member who is constant criticizing us or a customer who is unreasonable and demanding. Whatever the case may be, these situations can be very stressful and upsetting. However, Stoicism teaches us that we don't have to let difficult people and situations control our emotions, manage our reactions and respond in a calm and rational way. One of the most famous emperor, Marcus Aurelius, he was a wise and compassionate leader who faced many challenges during his lifetime. In his meditations, he wrote about how he used Stoicism to deal with difficult people and situations. For it, Marcus Aurelius once wrote, if you run into someone who is disagreeable, remember that he is acting own character and judgment, he cannot act otherwise. Do not be angry with him for acting to his nature. Instead, pity him for get angry or upset with people who are difficult or disagreeable, they are simply behaving according to their own nature. Instead, should pity them for not being better people. Another Stoic who wrote about dealing with difficult people was Epictetus. He was former slave who became a renowned philosopher in his discourses he wrote, it is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. This passage reminds us that we should be open, minded and willing to learn from others each if they are difficult or disagreeable. If we can find the wisdom to do this, we can often learn valuable lessons from even most challenging situations. In this video, we will discuss some of the key stoic principles dealing with difficult people and situations. We will also provide concrete examples and practical advice on how to use these principles in everyday life. I hope that this video will help you to develop the resilience and inner strength you need to deal with any difficult person or situation that comes your way. Dichotomy of control. One of the fundamental stoicism is the dichotomy of control. This principle teaches us to distinguish between what we can control and what we cannot control. We can only control our own thought actions and reactions. We cannot control the behavior of others, external events, or the natural world. When we understand the dichotomy of control, it can help us lies that there is no point in getting upset or angry about things that we cannot control. Instead, we can phone us on what we can control, such as our own attitude and response. Virtue is the only another key stowing principle is that virtue is the only good. This means that the only thing that truly matters is developing our own virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. External things such as wealth, fame, and power are not truly valuable. When we focus on developing our own virtues, it can help us to become more resilient and less easily upset. By difficult people and situations, we can realize that happiness does not depend on external things, but rather on our own inner character everything happens for a reason. Finally, Stoics believe that everything happens for a reason. Th that everything that happens good. It simply means that everything that happens has a purpose and is ultimately for our own good. When we believe that everything happens for a reason, it can help us to maintain a positive attitude in the face of adversity. We can see difficult people situations as opportunities for growth and everything will work out for the best. Now that we have discussed some of the key stoic principles, let's take a look at some concrete examples and practical advice on how to use these principles to deal with difficult people and situations. It example 1, you are working on a project with a co-worker who is constantly criticizing your work. You are starting to feel frustrated and discouraged. Remember control your own reaction. Focus on developing your own virtues. Instead of getting upset with your co-worker, try to learn from their criticism. Ask yourself if there is any truth to their feedback. If so, you it to improve your work. If not, simply ignore it. Co-worker is here to teach you patience, resilience, and 
how to deal with difficult people, try to see this situation as an opportunity for growth. Example 2, you are at a customer service job, and you have a customer who is being rude demanding, you are starting to feel angry and resentful, remember the dichotomy of control. You cannot control the customer's behavior, but you can control your own reaction, focus on developing your own virtues, be patient to understanding, though the customer is being difficult, this will show that you are a professional and that you are it to providing good customer service. Believe that everything happens for a reason. Perhaps this customer is here to teach you how to stay calm and collected under pressure. Try to see this situation as an opportunity to practice your stoic principles. Example, three you are in a relationship with is often negative and critical. You are starting to feel drained and unhappy. The dichotomy of control. You cannot control your partner's behavior, but you can control your own reaction. Focus on developing your own virtues. Be positive and even though your partner is being negative, this will show that you are a strong and independent person. Believe that everything happens for a reason. Perhaps this relationship is to teach you how to set boundaries and how to take care of your own emotional needs. Try to see this situation as an opportunity for growth. Feeling angry or upset when dealing with difficult people or situations. Stoics teach us that we should not let our emotions control us. Instead, we should strive to remain calm and rational. One way to do this is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of paying attention to the present moment without judgment when a mindful, we are more aware of our thoughts and feelings, we can then choose how to react to them. Another way to stay calm and rational is to use cognitive restructuring. Cognitive restructuring is the process of challenging and changing our negative thoughts. When we have negative thoughts about a difficult person or situation, can ask ourselves if these thoughts are realistic and helpful. If not, we can replace them with more realistic and helpful thoughts. Taking things, Stoics believe that we should not internalize the negative behavior of others. We should remember that their economy of control. We cannot control the behavior of others, but we can control our own reaction. We can choose to not let their behavior affect us. Another way to avoid taking things personally is to practice compassion. Compassion is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person. When we have compassion for someone who is behaving badly, we are less likely to take their behavior. Personally, feeling overwhelmed or powerless, st remind us that we always have the power to choose our own attitude and response to a situation. We may not be able to control the situation itself, but we can control our own thoughts, actions, and reactions. One way to feel less overwhelmed and powerless is to focus on what we can control. We can also remind ourselves that we challenge as well. In this video, we have discussed some of the key Stoic principles that can be applied to dealing with difficult people and situations. We have also provided concrete examples and practical advice on how to use these principles in everyday life. I hope that this video has helped you to develop a better understanding of how to deal. Remember, you cannot control the behavior of others, but you can control your own reaction by focusing on what you control and of people and situations and opportunities for growth and learning. By embracing challenges and learning from your mistakes, you can become a person. Here are some additional tips for dealing with difficult people and situations. It is important to set boundaries with difficult people. Let them know what you are and are not willing to tolerate. Firm, but respectful. If you are feeling overwhelmed, take a break from the situation, go for a walk, listen to music, else that you enjoy, talk to someone. Talking to a friend, fam therapist can help you to process your emotions and develop coping mechanisms. Remember, you are not alone. Everyone has to deal with difficult people and situations, from time to time. The important thing is to remember that you have to control and you can see difficult people and situations as opportunities for growth and learning. Thank you for watching this video. In this video to be helpful, if you have any comments, please leave them below. I would also so love to hear your own stories and 
experiences with dealing with difficult people and situations. If enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more stoic wisdom. I also encourage you to share this video with your friends and family who may be struggling with difficult people and situations. Thank you again for watching. I hope to see you next time.